We've got another point that I really want to drive home to you and I'm really hopeful that it's going to be helpful to you. It's very nuanced. You may not have heard this subject before, I don't know, but I'm really excited to bring it to you and to get into this. The subject for today is the return of adventure, risk and conquest. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Andrew. For nearly 30 years, I've had the privilege of helping people from all walks of life, training them, mentoring them, and that's what this channel is all about, helping men to become the best that they can become. Let's go to today's episode now. Return of adventure, risk, and conquest. You might be saying, Andrew, how on earth does that relate to mental health for our middle-aged men? Well, let me take a moment to explain what I mean by these three keywords. We've got to start by understanding that adventure, risk, and conquest are all attributes and traits that are core to manhood. What does that mean? It means every baby boy born on the planet is born with an innate desire to taste these three things, to experience these things, to walk in these things, and to do so in a manner which is healthy and helpful and not destructive. We see it in small boys. We see it in playgrounds where they want to climb on things or they want to jump over fences or off fences. And very sadly in today's world, we are seeing uh, a, a shift in parenting where too many parents are not focused on things that do matter for their children. And yet they're obsessively focused on what some people would call a helicopter style of parenting where they hover over everything they're doing, or the new phrase that you might have heard, lawnmower parenting, where parents go ahead of their children and they mow down every possible obstacle to give the child an easy path in life. Let me help you understand that is not helping our children. It is not helping our young boys to become strong men. Here's the deal. It's core in the creativity, the design of every male on the planet that risk, adventure and conquest is true to who they are as beings and we've got to embrace it, we've got to accept it, we've got to stop suppressing it as we're seeing from so many people who love to preach this mantra of toxic masculinity. No, there is such a thing as toxic humanity but masculinity in its true definition actually lives very peacefully with risk and adventure and conquest without bringing harm to others. So let's talk about why these three traits are so important to middle-aged men and how it applies to the mental health of our middle-aged men. Here's what happens. These baby boys, these toddlers, these young boys who become teenagers, become young men, what happens is in their early life, and the same is true for me, same is true for you, that when we are young, we don't need to be taught to take risk, to want to have a shot at conquest, to desire to go on an adventure. We don't need to be taught these things because as I said, it's innate to us, it's core to our being. It's part of who we are as men, the way we were born. And so it happens quite naturally and organically. And we see young men who wanna go on hiking adventures and camping adventures, or, or they wanna take risks with contact sports, or they wanna do crazy things in the minds of other people, but it's because of this desire. It's the heart of a pioneer. It's the heart of an overcomer. It's the heart of an entrepreneur. It's the heart of someone who wants to take on a challenge, climb a mountain, defeat a giant, become the best version of themselves. And all men need these three drives. It's so crucial. But what happens as we outgrow our youth and our adolescence, life gets a bit more serious. We have to go off post our schooling days and get a job and get on the career path. And by the time most men hit middle age, they have left behind these three drives because their life now is completely saturated with needing to earn money, paying bills, maybe they're married, maybe they've got children already, maybe they've got a mortgage, they've got all kinds of pressures going on. And we do see what happens is that from youth and adolescence through to middle age, these three traits seem to go missing. But actually what happens is they don't disappear. They don't actually go anywhere. What happens with these three traits is they just go underground for a period of time. 
Now I wanted you to capture this and really lean in if you possibly can. These three drives that are core to our manhood, risk, adventure, conquest, I need you to understand that what happens for most men is that as they leave their youth, these drives go underground for a short period of time, but without warning and without preparation, those same three drives re-emerge and come back up and surface in the lives of middle-aged men. Now here's why this can become a problem, because if we don't help men to understand that risk, conquest and adventure are things that they were born for and that they are okay and that they can make a contribution to our society, maybe you're a man who grew up in a home that was told don't take risks, don't look for adventure, play it safe, stop searching for conquest. If you had that smacked on the head all of your childhood and your youth, you are in real vulnerable danger for when, not if, when in your middle age these three drives suddenly pop their head up from under the surface and re-emerge in your life again. Typically what we see happen when things go wrong for many men in middle age is we see these three drives re-emerge without warning in the context of marriage and mortgage and pressure and parenting and paying bills and putting up with work colleagues and fighting traffic and trying to figure out your place in the world. In that context, risk and conquest and adventure want to rejoin the man's life. This is potentially very troublesome. Why? Because if a man doesn't understand that the things that are emerging from his soul are meant to be there, he actually can catapult himself into a pathway that is deeply destructive for him and for those that he actually loves and cares about. What we've got to do is we've got to help men understand two things. Number one, we need men to realize that these three drives, these three traits that will re-emerge in middle age, they are meant to be there. They are in you by design. They are your friends, you need them, and they can help you. The second thing that we've got to help men understand is that if they don't make space for healthy expressions of these three drives, these three drives are gonna try to work their way out in your life whether you like it or not. And if you don't get intentional about finding healthy outlets, healthy expressions for these three things, they will naturally find their way into some places that are not healthy for you, not healthy for your loved ones, and then we see all kinds of destruction and damage ensuing in the lives of those men. Here is my advice for you. Number one, accept that you were designed for taking risks, going on adventures, and being challenged by the question mark of a conquest. It's who you are as a man. If you've been denying it, if you've been pushing it away, suppressing it, it's time for you to stop doing that. This is actually part of your being that's there to help you become the best version of yourself. Why? Because that drive for risk and conquest and adventure, these are the things that help men to overcome challenges, to beat their giants, to start businesses, to protect their family, to pay high prices, to provide for their kids. This is what manhood is about. Number one, you need to accept it. It's normal, it's healthy, it's good, it's meant to be there. Number two, before you get this thing creep up on you and surprise you, try to build into your life some healthy outlets, healthy expressions through things that can be done in nature and in sport and in positive friendships. It is possible to find healthy outlets, healthy expressions for these three drives so that when they re-emerge in your middle age, you'll actually be prepared and you can make the most of them. And I can tell you now from experience, if you can get the opportunity in a healthy way to release these three drives like I've had the chance to experience in my life, it does wonders for the strengthening of your mental health. Men are never at their best mentally when they don't get the chance to taste a bit of risk, go on adventures, and have an outlet for chasing that conquest that they need to chase. It always goes bad. It always goes unhealthy and destructive when men are caught by surprise in their middle age as these drives re-emerge. 
If you're struggling with your mental health, if you're struggling with your headspace, one of the greatest things that you can do is to tap into that place in your soul, rediscover these drives that you were actually born with. Think back about your childhood and your adolescence moments where you loved the idea of adventure, risk and conquest and start to make plans for having a healthy outlet for that in your life and the phase that you're in right now, it will do you wonders. I'm so glad that you made it this far in the series and you're watching along. Maybe this episode today is the first episode or the second episode. Don't forget that we're right in the middle of a long series on mental health for middle-aged men. In the description below are all the links to all of the existing episodes and you can go back to the start and catch up. There's more to come after this episode today and I'd love you to hang around. Make sure you watch out for that. We're going to talk in the next episode about the power of health and fitness as it pertains to our mental health. If you haven't subscribed already, why don't you do that? Why don't you leave me a comment? I would so love to hear from you on this subject of risk, conquest and adventure. Tell me where you're at with it. Ask for help, make a suggestion, whatever it is. And please, as always, when you're hearing this stuff, if you think of a loved one or a friend who you know would be encouraged, why don't you go ahead and share the link with them. Keep hanging around. There's more good stuff to come. I'll see you in the next episode.